GHIS 231, two new chart types have now been introduced. Year over year, line and column charts. A year over year chart can be used to more easily compare data over time for multiple periods. These type of charts allow you to select two period types and compare the data within them. In this example, we are displaying data for BCG coverage for all 12 months within a year for 2016, 2017, and 2018. Here we can easily identify improvements in coverage from month to month between the different years. If we compare this with a regular line chart, we are still able to identify these differences, but it is not nearly as intuitive. If we want to see the difference in coverage between January 2016, January 2017, and January 2018, we will have to refer back to the individual points on the chart. In the year-over-year -year chart, this type of comparison is made much easier. Let us get into the details of how this chart type is made. In order to get started in creating a year-over-year -year chart, we first have to select a year-over-year -year chart type that we would like to use. In this example, we will work with the year-over-year -year line chart type. After we select this chart type, we can see that both the category and the series are automatically populated with period types. The period selection on the left menu where other dimensions are selected is also grayed out. Organization units and data are automatically placed in the filter. For this reason, this chart type works best when only one data item is selected for comparison. In the example of the year-over-year -year line chart, the category determines the periods that will be displayed along the x-axis and group the data together. So with months per year selected, all the months within a year from January to December will be displayed along the x-axis. If we were to select quarters per year, it would instead display the four quarters of a year along the x-axis. You will notice that the selections in the categories are all relative periods. You cannot select, for example, specific months in the category in this chart type. The series determines which years you will be displaying data for. If I have this and last year selected, it will display data from 2019 and 2018 respectively. I can also specify years rather than a relative period, for example, 2016, 2017, and 2018. With these two options selected, I am now creating a chart which will display data from January to December along the x-axis. And with 2016, 2017, and 2018 selected as my series, data values from these three years will be displayed by month on the year-over-year -year chart. When selecting data, it is best to only select one data item. These could be supplemented by choosing groups or desegregations to further filter the data by. However, as the data selection is automatically added to the filter and cannot be moved, adding in more than one data item will have no effect on the chart. If two or more data items are selected, it will use the topmost item to generate the year-over-year -year chart and ignore any of the data items below it. It is therefore recommended to select only one data item. We can now update our chart. We can see how the chart has been generated based on our category and series period selections, as well as the selection of our data item, which in this case is BCG coverage. The series has determined which years we are displaying data for, while the category determines how to group the data along the x-axis. We could quickly change the category to quarters per year and update our chart. After we make this change, we can see that the quarters in a year are displayed along the x-axis and group the data from the three selected years together rather than using the months in a year. This type of chart is much more intuitive in reviewing variances in data from year to year, and we look forward to receiving feedback on how these chart types are being used in practice. This has been a brief overview of the new Data Visualizer application. We can see there have been improvements to the interface as well as added chart types which enhance the app's functionality. If there are any questions about the Data Visualizer app, please do not hesitate to let us know.